the largest part of environmental impacts take place in manufacturing activities. Yet yeah, many companies are not responsible for that activities, but rather they are offshored or outsourced to suppliers of first tier, second tiers, uh, very often located in countries where standards are much lower. So how to ensure that indeed the all activities of the chains are effectively sustainable? This paper, co-authored with Stefano Ponte and Arti Krishnas, we try to address by taking stock of the existing understanding of environmental upgrading and global value chains, and more importantly, providing a framework that may guide scholars that are interested in into delving into these very relevant research questions, understanding what are the key elements that should be considered. The first element we focus on on our framework is on the importance to distinguish processes from outcomes. Very often companies do implement practices along their supply chains, yet it's not clear what are the outcomes achieved. And in some cases, we actually have that negative environmental outcomes are taking place after actions are, are put in place. So a first element we point in our framework is to distinguish between processes and outcomes. Processes consisting of value creation strategies, which may be both vertical and top-down and bottom-up, and horizontal but also value appropriation practices, because we know that within global value chains, not all actors have power. And this power and, and different characteristics of the actors to influence how value created in, with the environmental upgrading strategies can be appropriate. But then it's also important to understand outcomes. And outcomes being both direct and indirect, affecting directly GVC actors, but also affecting the context where those actors are located, even broader than the single farmers, for example, that are working for that specific um, UK base, for example, um, lead, um, global value chains. Now, other than these aspects, we also point a second aspect that every research should consider when addressing very relevant questions how to address environmental upgrading along global value chains. And that's the important to consider the multiplicity of actors and of perspectives. Because what may be uh, a very good environmental outcome for the lead firms might not necessarily be the same for farmers. So as we are understanding the, with an holistic perspective, environmental upgrading in GVC, we need to account for the perspectives of all the actors that are considered. In this article, we do provide a framework, a synthetic framework that can guide research in this sense, but we also provide an example of how to apply it. So if you're curious to see what are the key elements that we address in this framework and how to apply it, have a look at our paper and learn about the very interesting case of the Kenyan horticulture value chains, where actually we disentangle by using this lens. Uh, the fact that there are very important investments taking place at the farmer's level because of the investments of the lead firms based in the UK. Yet, if we go and measure on the ground, we actually see that those actions had actually uh, negative uh, implications for farmers living in the places where those practices have been implemented.